when installing your plugins from Plugin Alliance, of course, you can head into your account, head over and download the individual installers. But in this video, let's look at the installation manager from Plugin Alliance. So head to this page and download and install the installation manager. We already have it installed here. So let's go ahead and check it out. We have to install all of our Plugin Alliance plugins on this new system here. So let's check out the installation manager. The first thing I want to do is log in. I'm already logged in because I logged in before, but you can log in right here. We also have a gear icon where you can click one of these buttons here, and this will take you to uh, the uh, Plugin Alliance page, of course. Other stuff in there, release notes, the license agreement, whatnot. Let's go back here. So what we want to do uh, with this uh, installer is install all of our plugins. So we can install every plugin from Plugin Alliance if we want, if we, if we just want to do trials. But the good thing about the installation manager is we can actually just choose right here where it says show and just show my products. So this will just show everything that I own from Plugin Alliance. So this will save me a lot of time from having to go and of course install these one by one or download them uh, one by one. So installation type, you can download install. Very cool as you can choose it. Download and export. So download the selected plugins and export them to transfer to another system. So that's great. You can build your installer and put it onto another system. And you can also import and install. So you import and install plugins that were transferred from another system. What we want, since we are connected to the internet here, uh, we just want to download and install because we want these on this uh, on this computer. Windows 64, exactly. And we can also filter this by AAX, VST, and whatnot. But this is checked perfectly for me. I just want my products. You can also go my trials if you want all products, but I just want my products. So just show my products. You can also see over here at zero of 28 native AAX VST2 and VST3, and then this star for the AAX DSP uh, included plugins. You can see that star there. All right. And of course, we can click on something to select it. We can uh, always come over here to open a web page about it. Just click that. Open up the web page. Learn more about that plugin. There it is. Very good. Let me untick that for now. Uh, choose something. You can see the file size. You can see the included plugins if it's like a, if I just choose all of those, you know, all of those there. Then we can see the included plugins and the file size for all of those. But what I want to do is, you know, we can select by manufacturer because Plugin Alliance includes different manufacturers. You can do just what you want. Do one uh, from each manufacturer, two or three from each manufacturer, all from that manufacturer, so on and so forth. Hopefully you get that idea. But what we want to do here is just get everything. So select all, that will tell me everything that's included in my list here. And I can see the file size 1.1 gigs. I can download and install, which is pretty awesome. This sort of reminds me of the native instruments, native access. We have everything selected, every single thing that I own, and we'll just hit download and install. So now it's going to, of course, download and install. So we'll come back whenever uh, it starts installing. And here we are, we are still downloading. You can see we have the elapsed time here. Remaining time, nice to have that counter, how much we've downloaded. Download speed. And guess what? There we are, download complete. So now we need to, of course, install. So all we gotta do, hit install. Now, of course, where do we want our VSTs? That's, you know, that's fine for me. Install. And just wait. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Pretty cool. Cool. Installation complete. Very cool. Build another or we can exit. So exit. Very good. So that really should be all you have to do. A much, uh, much easier way to uh, download and install all of your plugins here. Let me head in here to... Uh, program files just to make sure we have all of our avid plugins uh, installed common files and in here to avid and audio and the plugins and we'll just go by date modified and here we go unfiltered audio unfiltered 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 SPL uh, Lisa Ingol BX all of our brain work stuff so there you go man very cool, very easy, very seamless. 
way to install. Of course, you still have to, uh, you know, authorize, but of course you authorize whenever you start up the, uh, the, the plugin in your DAW, or of course I have a, I actually have a, a key. They're already authorized because I have a USB key. I don't think I have a video on that somewhere, how to authorize your plugin alliance plugins with the USB key. But that is the Plugin Alliance Installation Manager, a really quick and easy way, as you saw there, to really download and install all of your plugins that you own from Plugin Alliance.